My name is Molly, I am a fan of the Brick, and today I have Hedwig here with me because we're opening up mystery packs! We're opening Harry Potter mystery packs and announcing the winner of our Mario mystery pack giveaway contest, which was like four weeks ago. About time, don't you say. I have not even looked at what is even possible to be in here. I have been completely spoiler free. On the front, I can see these people. So we've got Professor Sprout, Luna Lovegood with her lion head, Dumbledore with his phoenix, Kingsley Shacklebolt, um, Grip Hook, looking really mean, Mounting Myrtle, Harry Potter, Bellatrix Lestrange, and Neville Longbottom. So here are nine of the different ones, but there's seven others that are a complete surprise. So we're going to go ahead and open them up today and see what is in these and how awesome they are. Hopefully they are cool. All right, so this very first one that I just opened has little, and I'm dropping it, goblin ears. So I'm guessing this is Grip Hook. Oh my goodness, this is cool. This is the sword of Gryffindor he's carrying. And you can't really see it too well, but there's little translucent gems on there. Very authentic. Of course, we see Grip Hook, I think, in the first book. Where's his head? Um, but then he comes into play in the seventh book. So he gets the sword of Gryffindor, plus he gets a couple of keys. Cool. All right, that's one. And should I look at this? Mm, I don't think I'm going to look because I want to be surprised. I've got eight different ones. Did I mention that? Eight. Okay, so we're going to open up the second one now, and I'll show you that one as I open it so that you can be surprised right along with me. It doesn't all have to be about me, you know? Okay, we're going to sit over there. All right, so we have... Um, it's, it's another grip book. Yay! Seriously, though, it's cool to get another sword because you could totally give the sword to Ron or Harry. You could uh, put it inside a ice, I want to say ice rink, but I mean like a frozen pond and have Harry dive it after it. Or you could do a scene where Ron is using the sword to uh, destroy certain objects. So there's double grip hook. Hooray. You know, this could be just like an all grip hook day, and um, I could find use for most of these cards. But I do hope I get some others. That's more exciting, you know? All right, who is this? Okay, great. This is not grip hook because there is some light green happening here. Oh, it's Moaning Myrtle. She's got two faces. She's got angry face, and she's got sad face. So she's got... Oh my gosh, look at this blue hair. Wow. Now, she comes with a book. And, oh, I bet this is supposed to be Tom Riddle's diary. Yes, because there's a little printed tile here, and it reads, My name is Harry Potter. Hello. And put that inside the diary. That's cool. She comes with those little plastic things that let her look like she's flying. Okay, number four out of eight. Here it comes. Oh, something different. It has red hair. It must be a Weasley. And let's see what he has. He's holding something. It says the Marauder's Map. So is this Fred or George giving Harry a copy of the Marauder's Map? I'm not sure. He also comes with a couple of wands. So, I don't know, Fred or George, I don't know. One of them. Bag number five. Something pink just popped out here and I see, oh, what the heck is this? Okay, she's got a green outfit and she has red hair with kind of like Pearls in the front. Ginny at the bar. That's what I'm guessing, that it's maybe Ginny in the Goblet of Fire. It's an ice cream cone for some reason, but I could be wrong. It could be like Madame Rose Murder or somebody else. 
I will leave that one a question mark and we'll come back to that one see what that really is okay three more to go I think everyone's gonna want Luna Lovegood because Luna Lovegood rocks okay this one the first thing that popped out of this one was a little tiny baby so is this Harry's mom she's got a blue vest she's got red hair and she's got a baby okay so I have two grip hooks Moaning Myrtle Random Weasley twin. Um, what is perhaps Ginny Weasley and Lily Potter with baby Harry. And I have exactly two more to open. Can I feel it? I think, hmm, this one seems like it has another lady's hair. So it might be Bellatrix or it might be another redhead lady. Let's find out. another Ginny. She's got a really nice dress and I, and this hair is really neat too. I have not seen this exact hair before so I'm, you know, I'm pleased with it. Plus you've got to love Ginny, especially in the books. Okay, very last one. Let's see if we can guess what's inside. Oh, there's definitely a skirt inside and we don't have anybody with a skirt yet. So maybe this is Bellatrix or Dumbledore. Or Kingsley. I mean, in Harry Potter land, if you have a skirt, it also could be a robe, so it could be a guy. It's, yeah, it's Dumbledore, and I'm very excited it is, because look! Fox the Phoenix! I have quite a few Dumbledores at this point. There is Dumbledore. Now, interesting. Alright, so we have Harry Potter with a spell book. Looks like a potions book. Dumbledore. Um, Hermione with a cup of something. Um, we have Ron with some pumpkin juice. Luna with her lion head, which I really want. Grip Hook, Lily Potter, James Potter. Oh, James Potter's holding a picture of the three of them. I want that one. Bellatrix, she's got a, a handcuff and one of those little like jail time slates. The two Weasley twins, um, the one I got has the Marauder's Map, and the other one has a suitcase. And then the girl, who I'm going to just assume is Jenny, because Kingsley Shacklebolt has a broom, which, if you ask me, is not very exciting, but oh well. And then Moni Myrtle, and Professor Sprout, with her mandrake, and her little um, cauldron. And then Neville Longbottom with the Monster Book of Monsters. And I really want that one too, because that is cool. So that was fun. So thank you for joining me as I sampled the Harry Potter mystery minifigures. But before I go, I want to announce the winner of the contest that I had in my last video. Well, it wasn't really a contest. All you had to do was say that you wanted to win in a message to me. I drew a name out of a cup, and the winner was... Alison Gale Lego! So, Alison Gale Lego, congratulations! You get this! And I'm gonna put a link to Alison Gale Lego's Instagram page down in the description below because Alison Gale Lego has really cool Lego things, pictures, all kinds of great stuff on there, and you should check it out. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you get a chance to check out these cool Lego minifig mystery packs if that's your thing. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter as Mo Make Stuff Up. Bye!